Okay, hi and welcome to chapter two of this logic tutorial. Um, we're going to continue with the arrange page and now we're going to look at all sorts of little tweaks and, and various other things that we haven't shown you so far to do with the arrange page, um, including some basic, um, very useful key commands <coughs> and things like that. Remember the emphasis here in these tutorials is to get you working as fast as possible. We're not trying to show you every minuscule detail of this program, uh, a lot of which, to be frank, is, is, is totally irrelevant. Okay, so I've got a list here, which you can hear wafting in the breeze, and uh, it might seem a bit fragmented because we're looking at little individual things that we didn't cover on the arrange page, plus some tweaks, but uh, here we go. So the first thing that we can look at is customization to do with this arrange working area. Okay, so if you go to the Logic Pro Preferences menu, You've got these options here. Now, if you remember, just to recap, Logic Pro Preferences menu in this Apple menu up here, this Preferences menu is to do with Logic as a whole program. So these are kind of like things that you set for the whole program and they're not things that you set on a song by song basis. So for example, audio will be where you assign your audio in out device and you would do that and tend to just leave it, you know, things like that. Whereas for songs, uh, you know, preferences for individual songs, which remember Logic calls projects. So for individual project settings, you go to this Apple file project settings menu where you get more things to do with the working on an individual project such as synchronization and metronome settings, etc. Et right? Okay, so let's start by going to Logic Pro preferences and you could choose any of these individual preference menus but if you just choose the first one global it brings up the preferences box and then you can choose from the individual preference menus by just clicking these icons along the top of the main preferences box and we want display okay now first we look at some customizations you can do to the arrange area okay um, look at the general tab first and you will see show help tags is ticked you can keep that ticked if you want and that simply means if I mouse over objects a help tag pops up telling me what it is that's record ready that's the mute button solo button this plus symbol is the new track button etc so probably leave that on I don't find it intrusive even though I know what I'm doing you know now you've got this um, wide playhead this line here that's the line that when I hit play you know, moves along and shows you where you are in the song. And that's called the playhead. And if you mouse over it, a little left and right arrow appears, and then you can hold down the left mouse and drag it around if you like. Anyway, that playhead can be made wider by ticking wide playhead, and then you get a big white line like that, which is um, a little bit easier to see. Some people like it like that. It's certainly easier to grab if you happen to be in the habit of doing that. Okay, that's one thing. Um, now, large local window menus right if you remember i told you in chapter one that every edit window and this is the arrange window right has its own local menu bar this silver bar living above just as every other edit window has its own unique local menu bar and that those local menu bars those local menu bars sorry um contain all the couple of tools you can assign and all the various menus everything you want to do in that particular edit window okay well large local window menus is to do with this if you drop the menus down at the moment they're about nine points in size not very big just simply tick large local window menus and then they jump to about 12 points in size 13 points or whatever and they're a lot bigger and they're a lot easier to see yeah so that's one particular tweak if you fancy doing that um, show default values don't worry don't don't bother with that at all I will you'll see me open different boxes during this chapter and I won't mention certain things that are visible that's because they're irrelevant at this point or they're not relevant generally to getting you working with logic okay so don't I'm not going to cover everything all right so um, that's some basic tweaks to do with uh, that and then if we go to this arrange um, here we can change the background of the arrange. Uh, basically it's set by default to this dark grey. It says dark there. I can change it to bright, in which case I get a very bright grey, which I find a bit way too high 
and brightness um, or you can choose custom in which case you then click this box here and a color palette chooser appears and you can choose whichever type of color picker you want and basically just set a different background color for your arrange page whatever color you like no matter how garish or subtle this adjusts the brightness and this selects the color in this particular color editor there there's various other types that you can choose if you like and uh, therefore it's it's very easy to set a custom background color that, that really suits you you know okay so that's one thing you can do <coughs> I will just set that back to this dark grey crown there which is almost the default dark colour and then I'll change this back to dark so that we have a consistency throughout the tutorials you know okay so you can customize the background but sadly in this last current version of logic there's nothing to change the intensity of the bar beat and division lines um, you've also got this uh, automation transparency for the arrange page and if I simply press the A key, which if you remember by default turns my track automation on and off. Whoops, there we go, that's my track automation on. Uh, you've got to actually select the arrange page before that will work. I had this menu selected, so it was giving me a warning beep. Okay, so automation on with the A key, and this region transparency, transparency sorry, simply adjusts the transparency of the region, allowing you... If I pop in a couple of automation nodes like that to see the automation more clearly or less clearly. Entirely up to you. This other data, I've not actually found any particular use for that, so ignore it. Okay, so I'll just get rid of these nodes that I put in. Okay, turn the automation off with the A key. There we go. That's another little tweak you can do. In this other tab, uh, this is to do with the background and everything to do with the piano roll. So we'll leave that for now. We'll come to that when we come to the piano roll itself. Okay, so that's some basic colour tweaks you can do. Uh, layout tweaks, just the menus and the playhead and a few other bits and bobs. Let's now move on and look at these two tool menus. That's the left click and command click menu. And I'll also show you some other ways and options to do with the mouse and the different ways you can select tools and a few tricks to do with that.